a blank piece of paper. Well, that can't be any good, can it? Hey, what's happening, guys? Today, we're going to start to design our own vacuum tube amplifier. I'm designing it for use as an instrument amplifier with an electric guitar, but you could also use it as a hi-fi amplifier. You know, same principles, exactly. It's going to be a very simple amplifier. It's going to have one preamp tube, which has two stages, and a power amp tube. So today, we're going to talk about designing the um, the signal chain and it's relatively simple it's gonna look something like this well let's put a so we're going to have our input and our input is going to go into stage one preamp and then it is going to feed into let's do a triangle for volume our volume control which will then feed into stage two of the preamp which will feed into the power amp which will feed into the output transformer which will in turn power the speaker. So there's your simple block diagram. Oh yes, also there will be a power supply which will go to all this. But today we're only going to be talking about the signal path. Let's go over to the computer and uh, draw some schematics. Alright, let's get started. And the first thing that we need to look at here is going to be our preamp, and that is the 12AX7. We have uh, two sides of it, so imagine drawing a line right there where it says uh, pin 9 is right straight up the middle. So you basically have two triode type vacuum tube amplifiers here. So here is our plate, which is another word for the anode. This is the grid, this is the cathode, and this down here is the heater filament. All right. So over here we have our standard quarter inch input jack. So we're going to need, nope, not a capacitor, but a resistor. Put in between them. And we're going to use uh, 68K which is what Fender used on all their early uh, tweeds. And then that connects to there, and we connect that to the screen. So that is the input. Well, let's put our ground on there just so everybody knows what we're talking about, for those of you in Canada. There we go. So you plug your jack into here. This is the tip, this is the sleeve. The tip goes through this resistor here, which is known as your grid stopper resistor, because it is going right here to our grid. Okay. Then we have our cathode, and this is where the electrons are going to fly off of. So we're going to take another resistor, and this resistor is just called our cathode resistor. And we're going to bring it down here like this. And for the cathode resistor, we're just going to use 1.5K. And it also goes to ground. So that resistor will prevent the cathode from running away. And then we're going to use a bypass on it as well. And that is going to be a capacitor in parallel to it. And the capacitor we're going to use is a 25 microfarad at 25 volts. And 
And like I said, that is going to run in parallel. Now, we also have to deal with our plate on this side, and that's where the B plus or the high voltage comes from. And it is also where our signal is going to feed out of. Okay. So we're going to come over here. It's going to move over a little bit. And we're going to use another coupling capacitor coming out of here. We'll put it right, right, here, right here, probably. Let's go up a little bit higher, right there. And this is going to be a 0.02 microfarad at 600 volt. This is your high voltage capacitor. You need to have that. And that's going to come over here and go to our plate. And if we wanted to, well, we will we will add in our plate voltage over here. Okay. So now we've come out of here. This is our signal coming out of the plate and we need to feed it back into the grid on this side but this is where we're going to add in the uh, the volume and the volume is a one meg potentiometer it goes like that and it also flows to ground here take that boop, boop. there we go and that <clears throat> is going to feed in to the grid over here and then when we take our cathode again we're going to do the same thing we did down here so we're going to put in another resistor, same thing for this cathode. And this is also 1.5K. And it flows to ground. Up to our cathode. And I'm just going to copy this guy. stick him in there like that and that's our bypass on that cathode as well so now we take our signal out of this plate which has been amplified so we have our very low signal coming in from the guitar goes through our grid stopper resistor and into the grid of the first side of our preamp. It regulates how many electrons flow from the cathode to the plate. They come out of the plate through this coupling capacitor into our potentiometer and into the second side. Are you with me so far? Good. So now we're going to flow out of there to our main power amplifier which in this case is going to be a 6V6 tube. Okay, so as you can see, I just threw a 6V6 tube on here. And now we're going to need another one of these coupling caps here, which is going to go over here to that grid. So we're going to come out of here. There. Oops, don't like that. And we'll do this come up like this. Good, that's better. So now we have our completely amplified signal. It's been amplified twice here in the preamp, and it now comes over and starts to feed the power amp. 
and again we are going to need a resistor for its cathode and in this case we're going to use a 470 ohm resistor and of course we are going to bypass it as well put that over here and it will also float together. You notice how everything goes to ground okay so now that that is all put together we then have our signal coming out of here this is the uh, the plate here our signal is going to come out of the plate and it is going to go through our output transformer so that is the next thing we need all right so I've just put a little transformer here now we are going to come out of here and there'll be no coupling this time and we go directly into our output transformer and then the other side of our output transformer is going to go to our B plus which is our power supply part of the circuit which we haven't tackled yet now these two here are part of the screen and they will also go to our power supply we haven't tackled them yet either so now we need to put in a speaker which is going to attach over here as such our speaker attaches to the back side of our output transformer and basically you can now see the signal path through here except for one little thing which is if we wanted to use a feedback resistor negative feedback and you could get our negative feedback by tapping into this point right here and feeding back to this point over here on the cathode side of this the second side of our preamp of the 12 AX7. I don't know if I'm going to add that in or not. What do you guys think? Should I put negative feedback in here or not? I don't know. Alright. So we're going to cap it here for this. This is the intro to our uh, amplifier, vacuum tube amplifier design. And just to say, you don't have to put a speaker or a, a guitar plug here. Put a, You can put RCA plugs here and, you know, make this a hi-fi amplifier as well. In the next part, we will look at adding in the power supply to this, which will finish out all of our unused connections. All right? All right. All right, before we finish up, just a really quick uh, primer on tubes, in case you're not familiar with them. This is the anode, or what's called the plate. This is, this is my computer starting up, this is the cathode, and this is the grid. You apply your high voltage to the plate in this type of amp, you ground the grid. This is just, these are your filament wires, they just heat up the tube to make it work properly and your signal goes into the grid. So what's happening is electrons are jumping off the heated cathode and attracted to the positively charged anode. And by controlling the grid, which is 
a lot like a chain link fence where you can vary the width of the links we can control how many electrodes are allowed to jump through and then we take our signal off of that point there hope that helps All right, that's it for today like I said in the next part we are going to put together the power supply for our amplifier thank you for watching I hope you're keeping safe feels please feel free to like share comment subscribe wash your hands don't touch your face that's it I'm out peace I want to thank you all for watching and spending time with me today uh, a community like this is uh, something that we can all be very proud of so again thank you very much for all your support of learn electronics uh, please feel free to check out the Patreon page. Dollar a month is all I ask and uh, really helps keep the channel alive. We also have an Amazon shop where you can buy most of the items that you see on here. And there's a link to it down below.